Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You already know it's a girl active trip. See if you don't know, now you know. If you're new to my channel, please hit subscribe and turn on the post notification bell. From you see it down below in the title, you already know what I'm going to do today. So basically, I'm going to show you how I'm going to recreate my intro that I did before using almost the same pictures and videos, but I'm just basically gonna recreate it. So stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You already know it's a girl active troopsy. If you don't know, now you know. Make sure to give me a big fat thumbs up on your way in. If you're new to my channel, please do subscribe and turn on the post notification bell. <laughs> Share me out. Hashtag active gang. Guys, from me sit down below in the title, you already know what I'm going to do. So today I'm basically gonna take you through uh intro tutorial so i'm gonna recreate my intro basically using back the same pictures and basically almost the same thing so stay tuned so first these are the apps i'm going to use so whenever i'm going to choose one i'm gonna let you know so the first app i will be using is the fun tool app so if you don't have the fun tool app make sure to go ahead and uh, install the app on your phone so let's just jump straight into the video so i'm gonna go into the fun tool app then i'm gonna click on the camera icon and then i'm gonna select the plain images so i'm gonna select the plain one to my right and here i'm gonna choose the color which i want i think i'm gonna go in with a pink this time i had a pink the last time but not so dark so i'm gonna apply i'm gonna the change the size i'm gonna click on custom so the for the width it's gonna be 1280 and the height is gonna be 720 select done click on the arrow at the top right and kind of going up and then you're gonna select use so for this now i'm gonna write active gypsy so i'm gonna tap on it and i'm going to add text so i'm gonna use active gypsy done i'm basically gonna select font because i'm gonna change the font of it so for this font now, I'm gonna use ta -da 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 -da, coaching ball italic italic. Um, I'm gonna use the font. I'm gonna get the size up, bold like that. I'm gonna go and select the style and the text color. I want it in black, so I select black for the stroke. I'm gonna use the width of 10 at the bottom right here so it's at 10 and for the straw color I'm gonna get it in white yeah so I'm gonna basically write my name again so I'm gonna add another text right here active gypsy active yeah i'm gonna select the size this time because we're gonna reduce the size to a smaller size that i want it then i'm gonna select the font i need something curly something curly just me again down here i'm gonna work with just me again down here i'm gonna go on the style so for the stroke i'm gonna use white for the text and the stroke i'm gonna use black done so this is what it looks like i'm gonna bring up the size a bit more you can get it at the top if you want but i need mine to be in the middle right here so this is what it looks like I'm gonna click on the arrow at the right bottom of the page and then I'm gonna save 
now guys i'm gonna select a new project right here where i have the blank i'm gonna add the butterfly so i'm gonna click on mixer i'm gonna add these butterflies next i'm gonna select duplicate because i want them on both sides next i'm gonna click on transform mirror because i want these set to turn and i'm gonna just adjust them to my liking to where i want them to be at the top and i'm also gonna go to the next side Next, I'm gonna select pose, animation, overall, pose. I'm gonna do it to the next side as well. So this is exactly, exactly what it looks like. Then I'm gonna go ahead and export. So this is what it looks like. So first, I'm gonna select the mixture mixer yes for the first half i'm gonna select the mixer and what i want here for the mixer is that i'm going to use this pick right here i already have the pick so i'm going to use it you can change the size if you want squeeze it in and out so i'm gonna go ahead and use two of the same pick right here so I'm gonna go again and select the mixer. I wanna measure it so both are on the same size. So for this one, each time you had two layers to it normally you would have to go back and save it if you don't save it and you're using too much layer you might gonna have to pay for it so i'm gonna select a new project right here right now i'm gonna go ahead and add the mega piece i'm selecting mixture this is the picture i want in the middle I don't want the buzzer water mark there, so I'm gonna adjust my pick and hide it for the animation overall. I'm gonna select the pose, so my video should be looking something like this. And the second part here is complete, so I'm gonna go ahead and export the video. I will show you how to crop your photo. First, you're gonna need pick arts. If you don't have pick arts, you may want to go ahead and download the pick arts. So I'm gonna click on the pick arts right here. It's loading. And all these apps are free. I'm gonna click on the plus sign on all photos. So I'm gonna select the photo that I want to crop. So I'm going to select this one right here. And I'm gonna click on tools and I'm crop. And I'm going to crop down the photo just like this. Press apply. And then I scroll and then I press select cut out and then I'm gonna click on the person so if the folder is not cut out to your liking you have the eraser right here and you also have a small arrow below so you can click down onto the size that you want to use the brush to erase you can also expand to your liking it depends on how advanced you are at cutting out your peaks so anywhere you don't want you can feel free to go ahead and also erase and you can also restore so now i'm finished i'm gonna select save and then i click the download arrow to get the photo highlights i'm gonna go ahead and go in bazaar to outline the photo I'm gonna click the plus sign and because the photo is already cropped out and cut out I'm gonna click start with a photo 
I just cut out this folder right here so I'm gonna go ahead and click outline if you want to outline your pic and I like shadow around my pics to get it with a local background color get top and shadow and you adjust it how much you want and then I select blur and you can also adjust the blur to your liking as a uh, how much of it you want so I want mine just like that so I click the tick the arrow at the top right hand corner and then I'll save it here I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna Instagram so I'm gonna click on mixer I'm gonna add the follow right here and I'm gonna adjust it to where I want select the green area because I want the green background to be removed Put that right there and I'm gonna add the photo that I want to be in the circle so I'm gonna adjust the photo over it over the circle just like this then i'm gonna scroll i'm gonna click on mass and then i'm gonna click on radial because i want it to be just like that you can always adjust it to your liking for the circle for the pic that i have right here i'm also gonna tap it for the animation overall i'm gonna add a little pose like that so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna save this part when you're saving make sure you save it to 4k so you get a good quality i'll show you how to get the iphone frame so first of all you're gonna go in pick arts then you're gonna click on the plus sign next you're gonna select all photos and then you're gonna click on the background you're gonna select the same plain block block room right here and then you're gonna add the sticker then you're gonna search for iphone frame and you have a lot of frame to choose to your liking so i'll select this one right here and then you're gonna select apply and then you're gonna download and that's it so next i'm going to select mixer again then i'm gonna add a phone frame As I said, you can always adjust it to your style, to wherever you want. So I'm just adjusting it right here. I'm gonna go ahead and select mixer again. And then I'm gonna add the video that I want to be placed in the mixer. So I want this video. So I'm going to adjust it to the phone frame. this is too long so i'm gonna go ahead and crop it back down so i'm gonna get ahead and export this select new and i'm gonna click on the one that i left off from this right here now I'm gonna add text. I'm just gonna write my name in the box, double tap. My Instagram name, active underscore gypsy. You can always resize it to your liking. So this is what I want right here. And for the effects, I'm gonna <laughs> So that's how it look i'm gonna tap on the text again for the animation overall so that's how it look then next i'm going to add another mixer to it i'm just gonna put the 
Instagram icon at the bottom at the like. So this is exactly what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna export this third part of the video. Fourth part to the video. So this time I'm basically gonna add a video to it. So I add the project. So next I'm gonna select mixer. Then I'm going to tap on my Snapchat. You can always adjust it to your liking. So I'm gonna adjust it like this right here. And I'm basically gonna resize it. So I'm gonna put it like right here to the line. I'm gonna adjust it all to the end also. Then I'm gonna go ahead and select mixer. So I'm gonna add this picture inside of the circle, the head as the big emoji. So I'm gonna select mass, radio, and then I'm just gonna maximize, minimize the pick like this. So this is what it totally looks like. Next, I'm going to save this part of the video. Click that same part I just did just now, that project. I'm gonna click on Mixer, and then I'm gonna go in and add the Snapchat icon. I'm gonna put it right beside it right here, and then I'm just gonna minimize it like this. And I'm gonna put it right here. I'm gonna carry out the length to the end right here. And next, I'm gonna select text and I'm double tap and I'm just gonna add my Snapchat name. Please don't mind. I don't know where I got this name from at the time. I didn't really know about Snapchat, so I'm gonna click on effects. So I'm just gonna adjust it. And the effects for this that I'm gonna use and the text gonna animation overall I think I'm just gonna put it to pose so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna export this part of the video I had a new part to the video so basically I'm gonna go ahead and select the video that I want to use next I'm also gonna add the mixer then I'm gonna select the Facebook next I'm gonna add chroma because I want to remove the background and I will select the intent intensity this is a rough one right here so I have to be careful I think I can work with this one right here. I'm also going to adjust it. Adjust the Facebook right here. I'm gonna open it up a little more. This kind of have a little background thing a bit. Then I'm also. gonna add text double tap and add my facebook name at the top right here then i'm gonna select effects for the blue and i'm also gonna select the text again and add the animation overall for it to pose so it should be looking like this I need the text to be down a bit right here so that's what it will be looking for my Facebook now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, to save so I'm going to select top I'm going to add the clip that I want right here next I'm gonna select mixer and I'm going to add the green screen that I want also then next I'm gonna select 
<coughs> chroma sorry intensity perfect next I'm going to select mixer again and I'm going to add the butterflies at the top right here it's cute animation in slide left animation in slide left perfect tap on it animation again i'm gonna click on overall so it be pause click on the butterflies right here so it should be looking like this and now I'm gonna export the video these photos so I'm gonna select mixer the photo is already cut out and cropped next i'm gonna slide across and add duplicate i'm gonna also slide across i'm gonna select transform then click on mirror and i'm gonna maximize these photos right here one thing i do to this side i also do it on the next side next i'm going to tap on the pick animation in for the one on my right hand side, I'm gonna select side to the left, tap for the next pick, animation in, slide to the right, overall animation, pose, you all should know I love pose, the same thing I'm gonna do to this side, so I should be looking something like this next i'm going to export the video i'm gonna top i'm gonna proceed with the last clip i had at the project i'm gonna click on mixer and i'm just gonna add this photo right here in the middle animation overall wiggle that's it export save next i just put all the clips in imovie and this is what you're gonna get for the end result i wanna love, 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 love. Every day and every night, every night